Senegal could begin producing COVID-19 vaccines next year under an agreement with Belgium's Univessels uh, aimed at boosting Africa's drug manufacturing ambitions. As well, the countries began to reopen after securing vaccine supplies early. African nations are still struggling to occupy or to acquire shots. On the continent of 1.3 billion, only about 7 million have been fully vaccinated. The collaboration highlights the opportunities created by a global push to channel money and technology towards production on the continent that makes only 1% of the vaccines it requires. A biotech firm, Universal, announced the signing of a letter of intent for the collaboration with the Institute Pasteur in Senegal's capital, Dakar, in April. Armed men have killed around 100 people in an attack on a village in the north of Burkina Faso. President Roch Cabot says the attack took place during the overnight raid on Solhan, where homes and the market were also burned. No group has said it was behind the violence. But Islamist attacks are increasingly common in the country, especially in regions bordering Niger and Mali. President Kabore has declared three days of national mourning. In outside of Africa, millions of Mexican voters are going to post today to elect governors, mayors and congressional amid threats of violence by groups that do not recognize the elections. Authorities deployed soldiers and police in the town of Nahadzen in the northeastern state of Michoacan after political parties disowned the indigenous communal council and demanded the installation of polling stations on June the 6th. The indigenous communal council of Nahadzen is a community government in the state of Michoacan formed in 2015 after ignoring the elected municipal authorities. The indigenous community claims to be the local authority and threatens to boycott the elections. Now Sunday's election, the largest in Mexico's history, has also been one of the most violent campaigns with 90 murders and 693 aggressions against politicians and candidates. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.